but here's what I've got going on currently. I'm welding a truss on top of the Toyota axle I'm putting in the Jeep. I also have some back armor. That's gonna be a little rock basher for the back. And I also have, which I'm not sure that's really gonna work, but I have what's supposed to be a skid plate. It's not really line up. I might end up just making my own out of a little bit of steel. Maybe something a little thinner so that I can bend it myself. Uh, this is what I've got going so far. Uh, I've got a new setup on the welder. I've got a Hobart Handler 140. Uh, recently just added gas, which is making welding so much nicer. Now that I'm not running flex core. But, uh, the way I have it set up, as you can see, I've got the center-ish on jack stands. And I have a steel bar run underneath the table. And I have jack or straps pulling down on the ends pretty good just to give it a little bit of a bend. Uh, hoping that once I let go, it'll be somewhat straight. I guess we'll find out. But I'm hoping it's close enough to where it's not going to cause me any issues. Alright, I've got her mostly welded up, at least the top truss. The ratchet straps that I showed in the other video seem to do the job. I'm at zero degrees on both ends, so there is no bow. Granted, I'm not 100% sure that I'm on a perfectly level deal, but... My next step is to weld the bottom plate on, but this one is just... I bent it even and it still just doesn't get close enough and it sticks out too far this way. And the reason I need it to be kind of flush is because of, because this needs to sit flat against the middle here and it just pushes it out at an angle. And it's, I could trim it, but I'm kind of thinking it's just not worth my time. So I ran down to the local uh, metal yard and they have a little bin with a bunch of scraps. So I am, I've got a couple little pieces. So I'll probably chop up and I'll just bend it how I can. I don't really have a whole lot of professional tools. I don't have a break or anything, so. I'll probably end up cutting it a little bit to give it a relief and hammering it over the edge, honestly. Uh, but I'll weld on the bottom and then I'll have to weld onto the back, the back brace. But. So here's what I've got set up to make a bottom skid plate. Uh, I cut a piece of metal, beveled the edge here to follow the circle, same with that one. On this one, I made two cuts here in the metal, but that didn't go all the way through. This way I can man manipulate it by hand. I can get it pretty close, close enough. And I have two additional pieces that I'm gonna weld, continuing it on. Since this is just a flat part, didn't really take much. Uh, the only thing I did special was I put a hole in a few of them. That way I could get uh, a weld in the center as well. Just trying to make it as strong as possible. Uh, you never know. This is probably going to get dragged across rocks. And Hobart's doing pretty well. I'm not that great of a welder, but it's good enough. It's not fully welded, but this is the bottom skid assembled. I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, I'm using maybe an eighth inch. I'm a fan. I think it'll do the job. 